Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your love reading for the next six months. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love for the next six months. As always, it's meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Feel free to check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. I'll have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box so you can check out your other placements. You can reverse the roles as well in this reading. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. And let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides. What can Sagittarius expect in love in the next six months? What can Sagittarius expect in love for the next six months? Okay, we have unexpected event and hidden motives came out as well. Secrets, secrets coming out, secrets revealed, hidden, whatever's hidden I feel is going to come to the surface here. Bottom of the deck I have poetic justice, okay. What else spirit, what else? What can Sagittarius expect in love in the next six months? What can Sagittarius expect, Spirit, in the next six months in love? Got two more. Sensitive, responsive, and perceptive, and renewal. Clean, slate, and healing. Interesting. I feel like there's... Um, bottom of the deck, I have the mysterious energy, enigmatic, and mystifying. So I feel like you're healing or being very perceptive with what everything that's happening with this tower. Clean slate, there's probably this energy of starting over, of responding in a very, um, almost like a... What's the word I want to say? It's almost like you use this as an excuse or as a way to justify a new fresh start for yourself. Um, it's like whatever this is with the tower and the hidden motives could allow for some healing, something new to come in. We'll see. What else? What else for Sagittarius? What can they expect? In the next six months regarding love what can Sagittarius expect spirit worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life interesting bottom of the deck separation okay let's get into this because I feel like this is going to be one of those readings that is a little bit crazy <laughs> We'll see. Spirits, angels, and guides, messages, please, for Sagittarius regarding love for the next six months. What can Sagittarius expect regarding love the next six months? What can Sagittarius expect? Sagittarius expect in love in the next six months. So what we get for you. Ten of Swords, my goodness, right under the tower energy with hidden motives. My gosh. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Swords. I saw this while I was shuffling. Um, very stuck energy here with the Eight of Swords, very restrictive, um, stuck mentally. So let's clarify these a little bit and then I will jump into my clarifying deck. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. 
Doctor Sagittarius. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Spirit, what can you tell me about the Seven of Pentacles? Can you tell me about the Seven of Pentacles? Five of Cups. Yeah, there's disappointment here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. What can you tell me about the Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Ace of Wands. Yeah, and then the Page of Cups. So there's definitely something new in love coming in. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I mean, that's very clear. This could be an apology. So let's clarify. Can you get some clarity, please, for Sagittarius regarding these energies? There is going to be like a big reveal, like something shocking, like a shocking ending here. And you kind of had a similar reading and... Um, I don't know what it was the title was it's escaping me but check out your playlist Sagittarius it would have been like the one one of the last five or six readings I did for you the title was something like a reveal or a big change or something like that tell me about the ten of swords with the queen of pentacles why is the ten of swords here with this queen of pentacles the world yeah remember when I said that this ending is going to open up the door to something new there's a new cycle that happens after this big shake up the wheel of fortune reverse the six of swords reverse ace of cups four of wands nine of pentacles reverse and then the seven of pentacles hmm tell me about the six of swords reverse because every time i think of the wheel of fortune reverse with the six of swords reverse there could be a delay here or a return can i get an i um some insight please spirit why is the six of swords reverse here why is the Six of Swords reverse? The star reverse, Aquarius energy. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles reverse. What is happening? The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords. You see, there's something off here, and I'm picking up on it. I'm trying to figure out why. Two of Pentacles, Reverse, Four of Cups. Okay, so I'm getting, uh, I'm just going to tell you what I see. Remember that this will not resonate for everyone. And also keep in mind that this is the next six months. So just because something's not happening right now, doesn't mean that that doesn't have the potential to happen in the future okay but i think um some of you are dealing with a person who's married or you are married to this person i think there's going to be a separation here um i think this was a long time coming i feel like this could have been some sort of deception or a secret something that was a bit off here something that you worried about or stressed about within your connection there's something here with time like this was a long time coming or this was a relationship that lasted a long time or something like that so you know take it as it resonates if this isn't you this could be your person tell me about the eight of wands why is the eight of wands here seven of cups reverse so this is a choice made someone made a decision here 
two of uh, wands reverse, seven of cups reverse. Because something was not right. Yeah, this is a definite decision. Like this is somebody that knows exactly what they want to do. Um, and it's regarding a long-term commitment or something to do with a commitment here. This is someone that maybe was waiting for a while, but then finally they pulled the trigger perhaps. And I really think that this has a lot to do with the separation. Tell me about, oops, tell me about the seven of pentacles and this five of cups. Tell me about the seven of pentacles and the five of cups. Three of cups reverse. The high priestess. Wow. I see someone upset and possibly it's because of a third party situation. Maybe there's something that got in the way here and someone's like really upset about it with this Queen of Wands reverse. This could be you. What's this High Priestess about? Why is the High Priestess here? Why? Yeah, someone's pissed. Tell me about the High Priestess. Yep, two of cups reverse. Whatever this is, is going to lead to a breakup. I don't know if this is between you and a, and a certain person, Sagittarius, or if you're dealing with someone who's already in a commitment and they're breaking up with their person. Take it as it resonates. But I feel it's because there was something here that was hidden or a third party, possibly. And someone's like really upset about this. Um, very disappointed at what's happening here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Page of Cups. Completely different energy over here. I mean, completely different. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups. You could be dealing with a, a water sign. Two of Pentacles, Reverse. It's almost like someone chose one out of two because we had the two of swords reverse, two of wands reverse, two of pentacles reverse, two of cups reverse. The, all the twos came out reverse. Tell me about this queen of cups, ace of wands, page of cups. Oh my goodness, seven of swords reverse. Oh my God, it's almost like this person had to screw someone over to go after a new beginning in love or the person that they love or to choose the person that they love. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, what's this about? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups Reverse, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. This is someone that really thought about this. And I feel like they had to, like, what's with the Seven of Swords Reverse? Let's just ask. Can you get some clarity for the Seven of Swords Reverse? Can I get some clarity? Can I get some clarity for the Seven of Swords Reverse, please? Nine of Swords and the Moon, Pisces Energy. This is crazy. Can I get one more for this Seven of Swords reverse? This is all connected. This is all connected. Can I get one, one more for the Seven of Swords reverse? Yeah, there's the Six of Wands reverse and the Two of Wands reverse. What's this? Judgment reverse, wow. But then the Nine of Cups? And again, that's similar energy. You know what I'm getting here, Sagittarius? 
It's like the person that I'm really hoping this is the per it's, it's like I'm really hoping that you are this Queen of Cups, okay? But what I'm seeing here is almost like someone screwed over another person to go after the person they love. And they probably try to sneak around or they probably try to do this, you know, behind the scenes or something, but I feel like it's going to be out in the open and it's going to, it's going to be shocking. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. Tell you that is that person here. Maybe this wasn't a happy commitment and someone decided to get out of it and they went after someone else. Tell me about this two of pentacles and two of wands reverse. I think at first this person was hoping to hide the fact that they were going to do this, but it ended up coming out anyway. Yeah, this is someone that made a choice somewhere else to swords reverse. You know, very, very um, simple reading here. Five of Pentacles reverse, page of wands, almost like they're recovering something that was missing in their life or overcoming a loss or struggle or something like that. Like, this could also be that you left someone to go after love or to get the love that you deserve. Maybe the secret that you found out was too much for you and you decided to go after something else. Or this is your person. Um, they caused a tower in their own life and they're coming after you with an offer here. I see both, both ways. But whoever they're leaving is pissed. Whoever's being left is pissed. I don't think they're going to take it lightly, <laughs> this other person, but I feel like it's one of these situations where what's done is done. This is out in the open now. Everybody knows. And it's almost like Pandora's box What you know, what gets out, you can't really just put back in. So this is kind of crazy. Um, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this resonated for you or that you found this interesting. Um, if you enjoyed the reading and you want to see more readings from me, then hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, for your kind comments, your support. It does not go unnoticed. If you want to say hi or leave a comment down below, then um, feel free. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.